Hi, my name is Jim, and this station is Gardening Through the Seasons Inside and Outdoors, where I talk about different things going on in the garden, different times of year, and what needs to be done. So today I'd like to talk about very early blooming, uh, late winter, early spring bulbs and flowers. So here we have some winter narcissus, and we also have some very beautiful snowdrops here. Now, the Heliboris, which is white and different colors, pink, purple, also blooming, and some hyacinth as well. The tulips and things are beginning to push. This is uh, March, by the way, as well as daffodils and crocus. Different crocus are blooming right now. And <clears throat> over here, it's not a very nice name, but it's called lungwort. And wort just means um, plant in the old English and some uh, violets over there as well. Also, I'm gonna take you over here. And we're gonna talk about some tips for these. Here's some primrose as well, blooming, purple. Uh, the secret with primrose is to plant them somewhere where they're gonna be shaded over the summer. And they're not very attractive over the summer, so they could be somewhere where the leaves and things cover them. Don't fertilize them while they're blooming because it tends to draw slugs and things. In fact, all of these do not fertilize while they're blooming. Over here, we're gonna get a better look at the crocus. Check out these crocus blooming. Beautiful. I love that. Over near the corner of the house there are some winter blooming jasmine, which has been blooming since December, actually. Those can be planted inside other shrubs where the other shrubs will grow out and be more attractive during the summer. But then during the early spring, they uh, produce their flowers for you, or late winter, actually, midwinter. Then these euphorbia here. These euphorbia are beginning. Soon these will be very beautiful. And Unfortunately, my aconite is already passed. Otherwise, I'd show you that. That has beautiful yellow flowers. Let's come over here. These Daphnia are so fragrant and they begin blooming very early as well, say February, March. They're good to have right near your door. Over here we have this Edgeworthia, which the hummingbird, of course, loves to death. And we have, of course, an old standby, Forsythia here blooming. And ignore my poor ugly tree fern that needs whacked back. But anyway, a couple tips. What I like to do with the spring bulbs, a lot of them will naturalize, but they don't all naturalize. They don't like every single spot they're planted in. So I purchase a lot of them and put them in a lot of different places, particularly places where they won't get disturbed and where they'll be hidden by leaves during the summer. That way, they can kind of decide where they want to get established and they will proliferate in those areas. Also, like I said earlier, I would not be fertilizing them when they're blooming or anything. It just attracts slugs and stuff like that because it produces succulent growth. Also, don't throw a bunch of manure or anything on them because that can cause the roots to rot. I actually usually just use a mild chemical fertilizer you could apply after they bloom just once and then they store the nutrients in their bulbs. So do let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to be updating the, this flower bed throughout the season so you can see what, what's happening in it and to see what needs to be done. Next, we're gonna be starting to spray the roses to prevent black spot. Uh, it's early in the season, but I do wanna prevent that from getting established. All right, let me know if you have any questions, like the video, and we'll see you next time.